Hey, hey, a little brisk this morning. Yes. When I woke up this morning, it was at least 78, yeah. probably 80. Now it's 57. 57 degrees when you were just 78 degrees and you were 90 plus all month, it's right. cold. So we are out here at the Blue Bonnet Alpaca Ranch. We're here to draw some blood on one of their babies named Alvira. She was feeling down. She's starting to feel better now, but we want to just do some blood work just to make sure everything is back to normal. My experience with alpacas is minimal. I've done more work with llamas. They're very similar. Alpacas, they tend to be smaller, a little smaller features, whereas the llamas, they're taller, tend to be more aggressive, not as docile. So what do you do with your alpacas? We have a yarn business, and we also sell alpaca clothing. Got it. So what's been going on with Elvira? Elvira was a tiny baby last year when we took her to an event, and she was the hit. We're going back again, and people have been asking if Elvira will be there, but we don't want to compromise her health. What event is that she um, attends? It's an alpaca and wine event, and we just want to make sure she's up for it. Well, I'm up for alpacas and wine. <laughs> so let's go to the barn. Six weeks ago was the first time she started uh, having any problems. She's lost a little weight. We took her temperature, and it was 108.9, which is high. And she's been really lethargic, which okay. is a sign of heat stress. What causes heat stress in an animal is when the temperature and or the humidity is increased significantly beyond what the body can thermoregulate. It can cause muscle breakdown, cellular destruction, or even stroke. And that can be lethal. So in this case, we had experienced heat stress. The effects of that can linger even if it's cold now. But a virus looking good. Her temperature is a normal 101.5. Her owners want to make sure that she's healthy enough for the alpacas and wine event. She's going to talk about this now. Mm. Alpacas, when they're not too happy, they make this humming sound. <laughs> I'm just trying to locate the jugular. With this blood draw, it won't tell us if heat stress was the actual cause, but it's going to tell us if her organs are functioning properly or if there's something else that we need to treat. All right. No luck. Want to go to try that? Yeah, I can. All right. It's uh, OK. Oh, it's OK, girl. She's all right. You got it. Nick, you got the yeah. vampire with us, I told you. Yeah. I'm so happy Dr. Ross came with me because I struck out today. I draw blood on lizards. That's hard. So I figured I could help him out. We got it. We got it. Teammates. Teammates. <laughs> we'll get this back to the lab. We'll send it off. We'll give you a call. Okay. Once we get the results. OK. And I'll let you know if Alvira is able to go to the alpaca and wine event. Is it like a, a donation for a charity or alpaca research? No, actually, we just got together with the winery and said we could bring some alpacas here. And they thought, what in the world would that do? About 1,000 people showed up. <laughs> Before we did that, they said the most they'd ever had at the winery in one day was 150. What? You know, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to check that out. The event is sold out but you will be our VIP guests and just let us know how many will be there. I'm so excited. We got the VIP passes for alpacas and wine. I'm cold. It's, I'm crying. You're crying? You're that happy, huh? <laughs> Are those tears of joy? <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't know you like wine that much. I love wine and alpacas. <laughs>
We don't get enough time to spend with you all like we like to, especially as a group. Tell you how much we appreciate and love you guys, the hard work that you all do. Y'all are holding down the fort for us at home. Y'all putting up with us while we're working long hours. And we know it's difficult. We appreciate everything you guys do for us. We're thankful for it. Thank to our beautiful you wives. Thank oh. you Thank y'all. Oh, is that my glass? Oh. Cheers. Yeah. Today, we got to do something new that we didn't even know was a thing. Share some wine, see some cute alpacas, with our even cuter wives. They all love the alpacas so much, they just want to take them home. Look, a little appreciation goes a long way, but I'm not quite ready for an alpaca lips. No. All right, dog, let's go see what we got. OK. Hello. Hello, hey, how's hey, it going? Hey, how are you? How are you? Dr. I'm McGee. good. Jackie, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. This is Dr. McGowan, the B. Nice how are to you? meet you. Where are you going? Bentley. Oh, we got a runaway. <laughs> a little runaway. Bentley, come on. Bentley. Come on. What's going on with him today? I see we got a little swelling under our neck there. Yes, he's coming in for his salivary gland. It's clogged or something. So he's had this in the past, he's been seen for this? Yes, and they've drained it a couple times, but it tends to come back. How old is he? Bentley is six. I've had him since he was little. Everybody in the family is a little concerned yeah. about him. He's a cool coloring. Very rare, you don't see him very often. Well, he's soft too. Man, he's like cashmere. Hey, you, <laughs> you're fancy. <laughs> All his little scratches from playing with the cats, but. <laughs> So, so who runs the house? Is it Bentley or? Well, he has an older sibling, and he's about 15, and that's Frankie. He's the old man of the house. The alpha. Man. Yes, he is. <laughs> he definitely is. We're not quite sure really what happens, but something causes a damage to the duct, mm -hmm. and you get leakage of that saliva into the subcutaneous tissue, and you'll get the swelling the pocket. here. Mm -hmm. Salivary glands are responsible for producing a lot of the saliva to help break down the food when you're eating. The situation with Bentley is something happened to the actual duct. So usually what is involved is we have to actually remove the salivary gland. There's two sets, one on the left side, one on the right side. So we need to try to determine what side is affected and which side is leaking. If not, we're going to still have the same problem after surgery. So take away both glands? Only if it's absolutely necessary. necessary. They need those glands to produce their saliva mm -hmm. and stuff, yeah. so he may have Mouth more of an issue of okay. a dry mouth. It's also a surgery that's not a simple procedure. Right. There's a lot of important vessels and, and nerves and stuff, so it takes kind of careful dissection. We don't want to just go ahead start. and just start removing everything. Yeah. So it's in his best interest that we only remove the one affected side. What I would like to do is take him back and do a little sample from there and just to See, make sure that get. that's what it is. I'm also going to want to have him back there. Sometimes when we lay him on their back, you can kind of see which side it wants it to gravitate to. to. And they might give us an indication as to what side you know we need to address. You're in good hands, but. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's okay, okay. Hey. So it's right. like it's more on the right side. Yeah. This is actually an interesting case, especially for Dr. McGowan to be, because this is not something that we're going to see every day. I'm showing him how to diagnose it, what it is. And we usually do that by the type of fluid that we're getting from the area. And that's the one we're going to need to go after. You see how viscous that is? That's going to be pretty diagnostic. Look who it is. You can see how thick and stringy that definitely confirms we're leaking saliva. If that was just bloody fluid, it would be a thinner type of viscosity. There is a possibility both sides may be involved, especially because it's been going on for a little while. Yeah. But I think the right side is the one we'd want to remove. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's something you guys want to do, or do you want to, you need to discuss it? And What do you think? Is that something you want to do? Yes, it's definitely something we want to do. Did he say yes? I didn't hear him. Yeah, he said yes. Okay. <laughs> he said yes. He agrees. He said it with his eyes, huh? 